I'm wearing a little local color here today. I don't know if I've ever worn this on camera before. I, I know I haven't worn it in a long time because I uh, actually... I thought I lost this shirt. I mean, it was just like had disappeared. So, yeah. To anyone watching this, why? <laughs> you should be watching the Confirmed Bachelors promo, which I just posted. It's like, go and watch that, then come back and watch this. And, you know, share it with everyone. Hashtag Confirmed Bachelors if you must. But don't worry, I'll be just reading this grown-ups newspaper. Go now! Anyway. Um, yeah, first of all, I should just shut up about the weather. It was like last week, oh, it's nice and cool. And, you know, this week we got, like, the hottest weather ever, basically. It was over 100 on my days off. And, uh, just felt like frickin' hell. So, yeah, it's, I, I have to close the windows just to kind of close off. Uh, yeah, I was down at the coast, down in town, by the ocean earlier today, and they were getting fog there, so it's like, oh, this is really nice. Please, I hope that when I drive back to the park, it'll bring the fog with me. <laughs> no such luck! <laughs> Uh, and you know, here I am sweltering in here with the windows closed. It's like not like the park housing is heavily um, populated right now. Although you, I, you might have heard one of my co-workers driving up here. There's, there's like me and two other people. But I, I still want the door and the windows closed so that people don't like get curious when I'm doing a vlog. So like, what's going on in there? Who's he, who's he talking to? There's no phone service up here. Anyway. <laughs> But yeah, it's uh, kind of hot, and you know, in weather like this, uh, you know, I'm used to having, you know, campfire smell anyway, because there's campgrounds all around here. But still, it's just like, you know, it's, it's still very unnerving. It's like, is that campfire, or is the camp actually on fire? <laughs> anyway, yeah, it, it, you know, it's 100 degrees outside, and it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and people are, like, already starting campfires. It's like, really? Can your kids not wait till the sun goes down to have their s'mores? Anyway, I, I actually have something prepared for this vlog, because, um... It probably won't be by the time I post this, but today is September 11th, and, um... The um, work vehicles for the park right here don't have any, you know, plug-in things for my MP3 player because they're kind of, they're a little bit old and they don't have that yet. And um, I gave away my uh, FM transmitter, so I don't have any way to listen to my own tunes in the work vehicles, so I'm forced to listen to the radio. and. Listening to the radio on 9-11 is <laughs> kind of an odd experience, and um, I wrote this little thing that was my impression of listening to the radio on 9-11, and it's a slight, it's slightly, and I emphasize slightly, exaggerated for comic effect. So I'm going to read this right now in my best radio DJ voice. It's a, it's a shame my it's a shame friend of the show Ed Nixon couldn't read this for you. It's if, if I had enough time I would have like prepared that and just like recorded his voice doing this. But I'll, I'll just do this right now very quickly. We all know what today is, and on this somber occasion we should take a moment and remember all those who lost their lives back in 2001 and send our prayers to their loved ones. Now let's take care of a request, brought to you by Coors Light. Eric from Livermore wants to hear something from the Motor City madman Ted Nugent. Here you go, Eric. Wang Dang Sweet Poon Tang on 89.9 The Throat. Uh, <laughs> it was pretty good that I got through that without um, too much tongue tying. And actually, without laughing, I think that's the main impor important thing. So hopefully you actually understood what I had to say there. Re regarding the Confirmed Bachelors promo video, which did not have the impact that I hoped it would, which is why you have to share it like hell. Just share it, share it with everyone, share it with people, even you 
with people you think might not like it, but that was actually, it was pretty amazing just editing that together, and, you know, I know they're both played by me, but just seeing these characters that you've been writing for months coming to life before your very eyes, it's actually kind of cool. I thought that was really kind of, it was just like the coolest thing ever, I thought. So, yeah, having that up is really cool. Was, I actually was thinking, um, going into town just <laughs> in character, uh, or just, you know, surprising my friends in character, just if I have the right clothes. And although uh, I did get a little bit of a reaction because uh, my first donation, um, Steve Britton from Britain <laughs> actually donated. So thank you, Steve. Um, and, uh, I, I do hope that, that there will be more donations on the way, so, yeah, uh, give me money! <laughs> anyway, um, let's conclude the video in, in, uh, the accustomed manner with a, uh, beverage tasting. It was not, it was, if I, if I didn't have something beveragey to taste, it probably would have been the, uh, what was it? The toxic smog balls from the dollar store, <laughs> which is which is candy. It, it sounds horrific, which it, it probably is horrific. It's candy from the freaking dollar store. It's off-brand candy. Um, and the other thing was, um, I got another thing from Hung Fook Tong. It's the gift that keeps on giving. The other the other al alternative I had at the ninety nine ranch was. Um, uh, asparagus drink. It was, it was knocked down to 50 cents a can. 50 freaking cents. And I said, hell no. Not even for 50 cents will I touch asparagus drink with a 10-foot pole. I'm sorry, but yeah. This week I have Imperate Cane Drink. I think I told you about this last week. This was... so I, I went for the Black Fungus Longan drink instead. Uh, and I kind of wish I'd gotten something else with long can in it this week, because this this has me worried a little bit, on account of its ingredients, which are uh, purified water, sugar cane, cane sugar, water chestnut, carrot, imperate, imperata cylindrica, and I have no idea what that is, flavor, water chestnut flavor. Now, as I recall, water chestnut doesn't really have much of a flavor. So, yeah, best served chilled. I have done that. Residues are normal. Shake well. I don't see any. Um, produced in a factory where cereals containing gluten, soybeans, and tree nuts are also handled. That means nothing to me because I don't really have any food allergies. Lucky me, huh? It's, I'm shaking this, but it's, it's perfectly clear. It's not like the uh, Masona drink. Oh, this, this one's making noise. That's fun. I always like it when I have musical drinks. It, it, it just smells like a sugar cane drink. It, yeah, it has like that vegetable. I, I, I'm expecting this will taste like sugar cane drink, which is, um, it, um, doesn't taste like sugar. I was actually surprised when I tried that. Um, yeah, it just has this kind of, um, slightly, um, vegetable -y sugary taste to it. Smell. Smell. I, I keep saying taste when I mean smell. Yeah, it's it's sugary and it, there's a hint of uh, I'm not tasting the uh, it tastes like really sweet sugar cane drink. If you've ever had sugar cane drink, this is what it tastes like. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure what the Imperate is, but it, it just tastes like sugar cane. That's good. It's fine. I'm <laughs> I was worried that this would be like really vegetably and gross, but it's not. It's it's fine. It's it's just like a really sweet sugar cane drink. Yeah, I'm not getting the carrot or the water chestnut at all. It's yeah. I, yeah, yeah, that's fine. It's fine. It's, it's 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 a little on the sweet side, but it's drinkable. Anyway, 
I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.